What's going on with you people? Um, my name's Six. I'ma have a little discussion with y'all today about Sound of the TV, Dr. Phil, Brother Polite, and Dr. Umar. Umar is in the same category because to me, he looked like a thief. He looked like he's stealing people money. I haven't seen anybody that came out and said anything yet. But this is just how I feel. If I'm wrong about what I see, I'm sorry. <laughs> Polite, I knew he was a scammer for at least a year. I could see it in him. I'm an ex-knucklehead from the streets. I know all about hustling. I wasn't known for hustling people. I was known for hustling work. But I was a real hustler. I gave you what you paid for. No more, no less. I don't jerk people around. And I damn sure don't play with people's money. Polite play with people's money. He promised you something. And then he lied about it. That's unacceptable. <clears throat> Sonetta, somebody like him is detrimental to black society. More than any hustler, I'm gonna tell you why. He wanna charge people for the truth. He claim to be news. He say he black news. And not to say that white news tell the truth, but us being black, you supposed to be better. You supposed to hold yourself to a higher standard. And when I say better, I don't mean better in the sense that you better than white people because you got black devils and you got white devils. But they do shit a certain way. And at the end of the day, if you going to talk about them and say that they do this wrong, they do this wrong, how you going to do the same thing to your people? You're supposed to be telling the truth. Now, we all know truth tellers get shot, and truth tellers don't got many friends. But it can be some money in truth. Y'all act like it's no money in people, in our black people, and then giving them what they pay for. So you got to run around and scam people. <clears throat> now, um, the sister, um, Ike, the attorney, the one that's getting that polite for everybody. I've seen people make videos getting at her. How? What's wrong with y'all? Black people like to listen to gossip too much. That woman is telling the truth. She's a straight up real attorney. And she's telling you. That this man that's been double talking you and bullshitting you, that's not saying that everything that Polite has done or said, fuck done, because everything he's done is bullshit. Everything that he said is no good. It don't invalidate every piece of information he's ever given you. But you see how it tarnishes record? He's like a superhero that had good that had powers and he started using this shit for evil. If he tells you one thing, he's smart when it comes to a lot of stuff. But then he starts talking to you about them tackling, tax liens. I don't know much about tax liens. That wasn't my forte. There's certain things I do know a lot about, and there's other things I just don't. Nobody knows everything. He tells you how you can get a tax lien, but he don't tell you everything about it. So... It could have happened to me too. Oh, word, I could get a tax lien. Now, if I get the tax lien for like 1100 you mean to tell me I could own a house for 1100 I could own a $100,000 house for $1,100? Shoot, sign me up. He ain't tell you that the house could have seven other liens. What if that comes up to $21,000? It's very, it's, it's very few of us running around with $21,000 that we can just throw into something. That house might need so much repair, you might be spending $40,000 just fixing it. Now, I'm not trying to make people who's interested in getting into that field feel like shit because it costs so much. It could, but a person that's getting into something needs to be aware of all of the risks and the reward that could come with it. That's why hustling, selling drugs is so attractive to people. <clears throat> the risk isn't in making your money back. The risk isn't going to jail. 
And people figure if I'm careful enough, I can get some good money in this. Because it's good money in it. But your ass might go to jail. And there's a bunch of people out here that's scared to go to jail. But they want the money. So they willing to do whatever. And they figure when I get caught, I'm telling. And I'm going to tell on somebody that I don't like. I'm going to keep them in my phone. And when my day comes, when my number get called, I'm telling. And I'm going to send your black ass to jail because I'm a sucker and I don't want to go. That's the streets. That's why you got older dudes that pay their dues, rightfully so. Pay their dues. And then they send a young motherfucker out there to handle that. You got to be smart enough to weave through that traffic. Bring me enough money back that I keep you. But don't go to jail. Don't get caught and don't deal with nobody that's going to tell on you and get you caught. And if you can't be a good judge of character or you're thirsty, you're going to go to jail. But since it's you doing it and not me, even if you tell on me, I have a little longer. Because my name might come up, but the cops going to say he was smart enough not to be you, little nigga. You're going to jail. A smart OG would try to put you in school first before he puts you through that. But if you want to be a hard head and you want to make that choice, he's still going to tell you exactly what I told you. Then he's going to give you a pack and send you on your way and hope for the best. But at least he told you what you was getting into. Now it's your choice to make that decision. And I ain't getting on nobody who do make that decision because sometimes shit's so bad, you don't have a choice. Sometimes your baby crying right fucking now when you need that money right now. You don't need a nigga like Polite coming in your life, taking everything you have. Because the nigga took 70000 and he took $70. He would have took anything. And some people were relying on that. <clears throat> Some people might have just been buying books, t-shirts, something, a book for information, something. And he preyed on all of y'all. So to me, a drug dealer, yeah, drug dealer is fucked up. It's a fucked up business. Liquor stores, drug dealers. Pharmacy, drug dealers. To me... A drug dealer is not as detrimental to our people as them motherfuckers. Now, maybe a drug dealer that's running around scamming and killing just because he not dumb enough to make no money in them streets and the streets he can get some money. Like I said. But you're probably going to jail. Like I said. Now, back to the subject. <clears throat> We're going to talk about Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is a racist, but he has women that don't have jobs. Some of them are housewives. A lot of them are white, and a lot of them are black. A lot. And they watch him, and they think that he mean well by him. The black ones do. The white ones know what's up. They talk in code. Now, a good brother... If you don't know him, you should. <laughs> Tariq Nashi, for anybody that's getting into these things late, look at his videos. It puts you on to a lot of shit. Brother Smart, and he's real. What I say, what I mean real is, if you buy something from him, he not gonna jerk you. And he knows it's money to be made off black people. Good money. Not on, I, I gotta hustle you, or I gotta keep knowledge away from you and charge you for it. Now don't get it twisted. Brothers that's having lectures that need to be had and that are doing things, doing work, you need to pay them brothers for their actions. But every every time it's about giving knowledge, it's not a time to be taking people's money. That's it. That's not what it's about. And if that's what you went here for, then we need to get you up out of here. I'm not talking about the conscious community because I don't consider myself a part of that. That shit is not productive. All they do is go back and forth, back and forth. A 
about who's a more, who's not black, who got Indian in them, fuck Africa, all this stuff. Some of them argue like they was right there. But they can't tell you nothing about what we should be doing right now as a people. That's what I mean when I say we. As a people, what are we doing? But back to Dr. Phil. Because <clears throat> I was looking at Lord Jamal podcast, another good brother. Um, And Digger, she was like, yo, she heard her grandmother yelling in the house. She like, yo, I heard her yelling in the house. I go see what's up. She yelling at the TV. What you yelling at the TV for? And she yelling at that chick. She should have been yelling at Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is not stupid. He's a fucking doctor. He knows that in America, we have a bad reputation. We as in black people. Not necessarily because it's, we did it. Don't get it twisted. You got crazies out here. I'm talking about the way they make us look. The way we can riot over a black person being shot by the cops. And we'll riot. And they call us thugs and criminals. And then they can riot over games, like football games, hockey games. And they're just kids that are out of control at the moment. they having a bad spot. That's what the news will say. Look it up. And that same CVS that we rioted over in Maryland because they killed Freddie Gray. Those cops didn't get convicted, by the way. Cops actually were found to went in that CVS and stole drugs. Not the people. Look it up. That's what I do. I tell the truth. I'm not going to ever jerk nobody if I ever do start selling something. You know what I mean? Talking about t-shirts and shit like that. My cocaine days is over. (laughs) Back to Dr. Phil. Why would he put an image out like that? Ask yourself. Think about it. He put the image out there. So that white women could look at us and be like, see, look at them. This is how they are. That man wouldn't have that on that show if it wasn't real. And her sister came out and proved it wasn't real. I knew it wasn't real. But that makes it worse. It's not even real. And he put it out there. It came out that treasure. Go look up her Look up her online history. She wiped everything clean before the Dr. Phil did. Her sister came out and said, it's not real. Her mom used to deal with a white man. He was a good white dude, too. But he died, and now she live a way that's not comparable to how she used to when he used to afford for her. So she just wanted to go to an all-expense-paid vacation. And in doing that, she threw her people under the proverbial bus. There has to be consequences made for Kuna. I'm trying to say this without getting arrested. There has to be consequences. We need a legion of brothers. They don't need a name, but we need a legion that is willing to go upside motherfuckers' heads when they get out here and put us under the us. We don't control the narrative completely right now. Now, black media is popping up, if you notice, but then you got niggas like Sarnetta that's not going to tell you the truth. He actually got a video dissing polite. See, this is one thing I don't like, right? <clears throat> you might see me with somebody, and things might go bad. I'm not going to say nothing, not publicly. Because it makes you look crazy when you were just standing next to somebody and then you got everything bad to say about them. Sometimes you say, oh yeah, I knew you was this. And what does that say about you, bro? What does that say about the men you're willing to hang around? It had to be something about them that was cool or you wouldn't have been around them, right? So if shit go left and it's with me and you, son, I'm just going to step off. We ain't got to talk. I'm not going to mess with your enemies because I don't mess with you now. I got cold just because you don't live with it. Sonetta was ready. He didn't want to start talking, keep talking about all that child molestation stuff. 
because nobody was one was going to get paid for. Doggy Diamonds was ready to do it for free. You see the difference in that? You got to pay attention to what somebody would be willing to do for you. When somebody willing to go against the grain for you, that's who you need to talk to. But y'all interested in somebody like polite. Somebody want to game you. You're being double talk. To recognize when you being double talk, youngins. Somebody going to say the same thing five different ways. And they're doing that to not talk about the whole subject. When they not double talking you, they are being straightforward. Look at the lawyer that's representing these people that Polite stole from when she tells you about tax liens. She gonna be straight up with you. This is how you get the bread. This is how you might lose your bread. This is how much bread you need to have just to even think about getting into it. And if you can't, save up or just don't deal with it. But if you're struggling right now, which means you may have zero to five thousand dollars on hand that you can deal with. That's not for you then, cause you might lose it. Then where you at? This six, dirty toothpaste squad. That's what the show gonna be about. I'm on you niggas' asses. Niggas like Sonetta, Polite, Umar. Y'all gotta get exposed. And I just knew Polite was a scammer. Like I said. Look at him. When he was in New York, he was on up and up a little bit. He went to Cali. He got a video talking about how it's basically he was saying, I need to go to Sodom and Gomorrah before I, I be good. And ain't nothing wrong with that shit. We human. Everybody want to do something dirty sometimes. But don't do it on my dollar, sucker.